we're at Soul Cup as usual, and I have my camera, but I'm just gonna do this with my computer. So this fucking dude just sat down next to us, and long story short, cycle. <laughs> and instead of got seven, this is what we get. Mia. Oh shit. What are we doing? I came to visit you in Korea. They're enjoying their life somewhere else. But I didn't come here, but the people in front of me, they're talking to me. They're coming over to us. Business casual, they said. Anyway, ellos vinieron a ver sus fans, I mean sus fans, de verdad. Ellos fueron a ver sus fans, de verdad. ¿Quién no? ¿Quién no es en Corea de Sport? Vinieron a ver sus fans. Ellos chupó a mis niños, de verdad. Y so we play, se fue. So, now we're just here, trying to do work. And then, okay, listen. Listen, we really came. Since yesterday, we came with the intention. Not yesterday. Since yesterday, we've been trying to do work. And then, yesterday we did, well, yesterday some plans fell through because visas. Because visas. And Korea. And then, we're like, okay, let's, let's. So let's just should we just stay up all night? She's like, you trying to sleep here? I'm like, uh, no. So we're like, then I was like, oh, should we just go to the sauna? Cause you want to go to the sauna? So we got our stuff together, we went to her house, we we're packing, we were prepping for Juno's concert by listening to his album. Then we went all the way to home day, we went to the sauna. Oh, before we went to the sauna, she's like, I have to get my groove on. I want to dance for at least one hour. We danced for we danced for like five minutes. Stop it. And then we left. We went, to, we went straight to the sauna, and uh, we tried to sleep, and just hella people were disrupting our sleep. Like alarms were alarms. This guy, this guy, he could sleep through like the world, the next world war, and. He would not be unbothered. He would wake up like so calm, like so refreshed. And then we came here and with all intention to do good, like wholesome work. And maybe see some people. Who comes through? Fucking this cycle. Freaking psycho just like came up to us. He was sitting in that corner, pants the corner. He was sitting here. <laughs> Reenact it. <laughs> yeah, he was sitting there, and then he just suddenly like. Can you have my? He was like, "Hi, where are you guys from?" And we're over here thinking like, "Oh my God, maybe lo van a una puerta y no va a pasar trabajo, or like va a conocer a alguien, va a hacer algo like with them." Suddenly, you know, we're just being positive. And it just went 180. We're chilling. He's like, Can I sit next to you guys? And he's like, Sit next to me, introduced himself. He's like, Yeah, I went to Catholic school in the States. I'm, I used to live in New Jersey. And we're like, Oh, that's cool. Then he started asking us information. So we were giving like all the falsies, all the wrong information. And what else? Anyways. It just ended up being that like he was just a weird ass dude. I was trying to get help. I'm so bad at telling stories, but anyways, the people at the counter, the workers here, like they were weirded out by him, I guess, because he ordered something and the buzzer went off, but he didn't give them the buzzer. He just took his soup and he sat next to us. So they were giving him like a weird look. And he literally told the worker, "Can you go give me go give me my water?" She's, he's like, "Go get the bells over there." And he's like, "Can you give me my water while over there?" I was like, <laughs> "That he came and sat next to us. He was just like, and then there was like awkward silence because we didn't really have anything to say to him, but he just wanted to keep making conversations. And I was trying to signal the people at the counter because they were dead staring at us. They were like, <laughs> I was trying to signal the, the counter. 
I was trying to see Blue Connor by putting my hand over my head. I was gonna like point and stuff, but he kept looking at me, so I couldn't. And then I finally just got up on him. Let me just go up, get up, and talk to him. He's like, what, what is he saying? He's like, is he like, is he part of? Is he your people? I'm like, mm, no, he's not. He's like, what is he saying? To you? And I'm like, oh, he's asking about so, like men and female relationships and rejection. And he just stopped me at like when I said that. He just said, oh, okay. And then he went to go get a security guard, and the guy just like. The, they came to talk to him and he was like, he came to talk to him first and then he went to go back to the security guard but while he was talking to him, he was like, well, why are you guys talking to me? Like, why are you guys, you guys been staring at me for the past five minutes or whatever. The guy ended up just leaving and he like kept looking back. You know, it was like those sketchy movies, you know, those sketchy movies to be like, yeah. And then he like knocked something over on the way out and then the security guard came and like make sure he was gone, I guess. He was like, yeah, he, he, let, he ran away and then but we've been like jumpy ever since. I was like, if I go to the bathroom and it's been more than three minutes, come save me. <laughs> As I'm in the bathroom, a little girl and her mom like, come to the door, you know, and I'm pretty fine. sure that I lost it. <laughs> I did lock it, but then the girl was playing with the with the handle, and I thought it was the guy, and I freaked out. Like, but where can I even run? Because it's a freaking bathroom. <laughs> then it just ended up being the little girl. Which is... End of story. I got tomato soup. And this girl's been trying to be vegetarian since she left McGuire's class. <laughs> That's the Pope. Why are we going? Okay, just screenshot that one.